What's up guys, PGH Alphonse back again and in today we're gonna be playing Friday Night Funkin' Soft Mod. I've been actually been looking forward to this one for a while. And look, we got Soft Boyfriend and Soft Pico. Well, let's just get this started. I I'm curious to know this mod handles topics that may find triggering it is possible to play in mod safely by pressing shift to skip dialogue. Triggers may include oh. Oh dear, okay, well. Alright, let's do it then. I gotta go to my options just in case. Why is Pico gone into Flash? Second, I preface. All right, well, let's do it. Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited. The city of stars, place where the celebrities and rich live lavishly. The not so fortunate struggle to thrive day by day. Two boys who have been on the run for two weeks are spotted dashing into an alleyway as the sun begins to set over the skyline. A high school dropout and notorious graffiti artist named Pico. A boyfriend, a blue-haired boy on the somewhat shorter side with aspirations of becoming a painter. The two come to a halt, visibly out of breath. Another close call. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. This is the third time this week we've been almost been caught. I know. The plastering your face all over town is inevitable that someone will eventually find us. We both know how they settle things. We need to prepare for it. I told you running away wasn't a good idea. I can't do this. What if... Boyfriend. When he... Baby Blue. You worry too much. I've got your back every step of the way. Oh, that's nice. How about we do a practice round? Repeat after me. Oh, okay. Well, let's Three, do this. Two, one. Alright, here we go. This is really cool so far, there's Witty. That was very nice. And they're blushing, okay. How was that? You did great. I knew you could do it. Really? Mm-hmm. Though, we should probably get a move on before... Oh no, footsteps could be heard at the entrance of the alleyway, interrupting their heartfelt conversation. Oh no. There you are. Who's that? Chapter one. Okay, fresh dad battle and no cigar. All right. Well, let's 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 see how this how this is gonna work. I'm not sure. Man stepped out of the shadows. He goes by the name Father Ferris. What? Okay. A retired rap battler whose name is as well known by the youth as it is by the generations before them. His voice was his claim to fame, but nowadays he lives very well off with his beautiful wife. And up until a few weeks ago, his talented son. Sport! We've been looking for you. Oh, that's him, okay. Hmm, I see you're running around with that street rat again. Nice to see you too. I'm sorry to- oh, that's- that's your dad? Okay, I can explain. So, you think you're all grown up now? If you're such an adult, then you should have no problem beating in a rap- beating me in a rap battle. Uh-uh. Come on, sport. Show me what you got. Three, that's his two, father? Alright. Pretty simple as always. Let's 
haven't seen the missing poster. Okay, Pico's song was better. I know he can beat him. We have now done it. Great. You sound just as good as your old man. It's a real shame that you're putting all that talent to waste. To a painter. Hey, don't listen to him, softy. Your mother and I have built this perfect life for you so you can become a star. And you want to be what? A painter? Doesn't that just sound ridiculous? I mean, one of my friends are artists. Just listen to me for once. Speak up, I can't hear you. It's my life. He's got a point. Oh, is it now? Oh man, something's definitely going wrong. I can't wait to see what happened next. Oh, this, this mod is actually great, I really love it. Father Ferris looks much more clean, if I could say it right. This mod, it, he's not a demon. But instead, the parents a boyfriend. That's nice. Now, what's this third song? It's kind of different. Hmm. You know, it's been a real pain trying to find you these past couple weeks. Let's make a deal, hmm? If you can beat me in this next song, we can forget this all ever happened. Really? Really. Don't trust him, B. I... Okay. I guess it's time to finally whip you into shape. Oh boy! Well, let's see what's gonna happen over there! Chill song, actually. Oh, that's a nice touch. Oh.
like that. I bet there's more. Hold on. Oh! You did it! Yay! I... Yeah! I can hear my computer running! Very fast. Okay, I guess I did! So, um, we're free to go, right? Come on, sport. You never raised an idiot, and wh why would you say that? No, you didn't actually think I was leaving empty-handed, did you? Oh dear, that's not good. Oh no, why are you grabbing? Oh no, 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 so oh no, that's not good. Stay away from- why? Why Why are you doing- Keep your hands off of him. Yay, Pico, save the day. <laughs> oh, oh wow, he's covered in bait now. Pico, come on. I know a place we can hide. We got a lot of chapters to go on! Alright, let's see here. Spooky, spooky as south and repressed. Let's do it. These must be spooky kids, but soft. The moon has risen over the cityscape after the sun went to rest its head for the night. Clouds joined in to keep it company, creating a stormy ruckus to keep it awake. Our protagonists found themselves taking cover in a building which was long overdue for a visit. Or at least that's what they thought. It was near impossible to see three feet in front of them, which there wasn't a strike of lightning to brighten up the room, leaving the two on an edge. I don't know about this place, Pico. Well, you got a better place to hide? No. But an abandoned mansion? It's scary, it's unsettling. It's... it's... it's a spooky! Yeah, exactly, you took the words right from my mouth, Pico. Wait, what? That wasn't me. Huh? Then who? Hi, mister- oh my god, wow! Beep. Relax, it's just a couple of kids. Oh, nice, okay. Oh. Ah, okay, what are you doing here? I am Skid, and this is Pump. We are doing the spooky things during the spooky month. Spooky month? It's November, isn't it a bit late? Hush, let them be. Hey, wait, you look familiar. Oh? Yeah, yeah, your dad is super famous. Also, we've seen your face on posters all over town. Oh no, that's not good. My mom has tapes of Mr. Ferris singing. You watch them all the time. Hey, hey, can you sing too? Uh, well... Yes? Then let's do a rap battle. Probably not the best idea. Please! Uh, alright, little dudes. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wow! Three, two, one, Look at them! Go. They got sweaters and stickers! Alright, let's do this. like some jingle sound. What was that? Hmm. Okay. We did it. Now for the next one. Oh, you guys are way tougher than I thought. That was fun. Let's do another. Oh, you want to keep going? Sure. We could even show you the spooky dance this time. Spooky dance? Yeah. It's where you kind of crouch and then you dance. We'll show you. I'm actually not much of a dancer, but one more shouldn't hurt. Are you sure about this? Babe, you look like you need to sit down. He'll be fine, Peek. Oh no, he'll probably have that nightmare just like HD. Oh man. They're just kids looking for fun. I don't want to let them down. Yay! Okay, well let's just get this started on the south hard. We're just south, of course. Alright. Well, let's see here. Hey, hey, hey. 
I bet week three we're gonna meet girlfriend. Because I saw in the Pumpkin 4 trailer. Why does this song sound so good? Still. Yeah, we did it. Now, uh, I think we're gonna pass out and meet that demon. I think. In what felt like a blink of an eye, everyone disappeared. Oh, I knew it. Oh, that was already predictable. This mod's still good. Alright, boyfriend was alone with only the sound of raindrops hitting the creepy, cre cre creaky roof above him. Except for one other thing. A tall, slender beast stood where the two kids once were. He looked so familiar. Probably because his visits were more than common. But it was a lot more than just that. What? No. Not you again. Wait, what? Not you again? Why are you here? Except that he knows him. Why now? What do you even want? The demon's not saying anything. I don't know why I bother asking anymore. Just leave me alone. Please? I'm tired of this. What? He, he knew this guy? Or this demon? Oh dear. What is happening? Oh wow, look at that. Alright, well. Rep oh, repressed. I thought it was gonna be that. Alright. Man, who are you? Pretty good, actually. Oh, that sounds pretty good, actually. Well, wow. you woke up. 
Softy, can you hear me? Yeah. Wifer, what happened? You were unresponsive. It was him again. Are you okay? Yeah, it's over. At least for now. Wait, where are the kids? I don't know, man. They said something about getting a candy can? Don't worry, though. They got a ride from someone in a white van. Oh my- oh! Okay, you know I'm not good with kids. Hey, what? <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Let's just get out of here. This place gives the creeps. Beep. On second thought, maybe we should stay here until morning. For clarification, no spooky boys were harmed in the creation of this chat. Okay, good. Good. Oh, thank god. <laughs> well, then they're hard! Well, I guess not! Well, okay, good. Chapter 3. Play date, stay, it's complicated, there's soft girlfriend, I knew it. A childhood friend. Alright then. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. After what it felt like a never-ending night. I could see Tappy, I could see ex-girlfriend, I could see Cappy, and what is that over there? Both Pico and boyfriend were quite easily the opposite of well-rested. The two did not want to overstay their welcome, however. And left the House of Horrors, which was actually a lot less scary in the daytime. On foot, they spent the better part of the morning heading across the town to a local train station. Last thing they wanted to do was stick around long enough to get into even more trouble. Where's that train? Relax, it'll be here soon, I'm sure. You better come quick. You've already been set back twice. Yeah, I know. Boyfriend! Well, that's our girlfriend, hello. I haven't seen you in weeks! Hey, girlfriend! What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out and about. Hey, you know what would be fun? A duet, just like old times. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. We'll be done before it shows up. I promise it'll be quick. And you know how I feel about promises. Okay. Son of a- oh. Well, uh... Three, oh, that's two, soft girlfriend. One. Let's see if I can find some references. Actually, really not. Whoever composed this, whoever composed these songs, congratulations! Like these sound really good, especially headphones. childhood friend was a uh, soft girlfriend pretty much all right well, hopefully this doesn't draw attention Nice, we did it. Wow, you handled that first song like a champ. You are always the better singer. You know, your parents and I have been worried sick about you. Oh, uh... Wait, 
Si Wait, what? Oh. Uh, about that. When are you gonna come back? I... You are coming back, right? I'm not, girlfriend. Sorry. Oh, enough of that silly talk. Hey, this will change your mind. Okay, she's kind of getting ner what? she's kind of getting nervous. What's going on now? I do not like where this is going. Stay. Your parents and I. Siblings? I I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so confused now. It's a childhood friend. Okay. I'll just stay with childhood friend. happen after this. Songs just sound so good. Well then, we did it. Oh man, what's gonna happen now? I bet reality, they're just arguing to each other. I can't. All right, I, 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 sh I really should be going now. Boyfriend, tell me something. Why are you so interested in this criminal? Criminal? Can we please not do this right now? It was supposed to be the two of us since the beginning. Promised. Our parents promised. Why are you doing this to us? To me. Oh no. Girlfriend, you don't understand. You remember what he did back in high school, right? He is the whole reason we had to get privately tutored. Gee. You are literally picking a school shooter over. Okay, 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 what is going on right now? That's not what happened that day. Wait, wait, then what is it without him? You and I could have. No! Mommy and Daddy told me so. They would never lie to me. Listen. No, you listen, you liar. Okay, she's going in. Are you coming home with me? And we are going to live out our happily ever after to get her? What is going Thank on right now? Right okay, well, what are. What? What? Siblings or something? I don't know. You know what? Probably. Probably. It's complicated. That describes the dialogue really well, actually. <laughs> okay, well, let's just get this started. Are we gonna meet the. I need a confirmation of comments. If I. If I can. song sounds so good. <laughs>
I think I'd rather have her just sit on the speakers and do nothing. <laughs> because girlfriend, I know I she's misunderstood. There must be some lore to this. I just need to find out for the rest of the chapters. This wasn't how it was meant to go. I'm sorry. That life we... They made for us doesn't exist. It's not fair! But wh why him? I... I can't help who I love, girlfriend. Neither can I! How, how could you do this to me? Oh man. Gee, don't be like that. We are still best friends. Okay, they're friends, not siblings. Good! I was so- we can still hug things out, right? A white limo came to screeching halt in front of them. Uh, Sophie? Not tripped or anything, but we've got a problem. Okay, I assume they got in the- Who's that? Mother knows that that's the mother. Okay. That's the mother. White limo? Alright. While in the middle of the stressful conversation, our two boys are swept up from the streets faster than light. Startled, they glance in all directions. And they only find the wind in their hair, cars flashing by, and an unwelcome yet beautiful face. Mother Marist. <laughs> Hi, Mom. There's my sweet little baby. Oh, I know it's, everything is going to go downhill. We've been all so worried about you. I'm okay, I swear. Oh, darling, you know how Mama worries? You've had your fun, but I think it's time to come home, don't you? Mom? I... No. But honey, I need a yes. And... Oh, look at the dancers. They're now a human <laughs> They're human now. Okay. This is... A uh, boyfriend's mom. Dancers are in fun. Swip I I never mind. I can see the paint just falling off through the wind. Completes high, okay. I I think she'll go insane. I I think the mommy Marist will go insane. I mean look at the icon on the <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> mm, sweetheart, you see how ridiculous this is, don't you? 
What do you mean? Well, it's obvious. My perfect little boy has had his mind tainted by that... pest. Filling your head with all kinds of lies. <sighs> oh my... Okay. All I've ever done is love and care for him. That's more than you or your monster of a husband could say. Pico, zip it. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with our family. We love you so much, why don't you just come with me? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm not going with you. Hmm. Fine, be that way. Oh dear, I... I don't... This already? Okay. She's, she's turning angry. Oh dear. That was very bad accuracy. I just wonder how she'll turn out the third song. Oops, I almost messed up there for a little. Wonder, I question to say, how could that limo driver can see very well? I don't understand. Alright, enough of this. I have had tried and tried and tried to see what mistake you're making. Clearly, you're too stupid to see that. Stop. You better drop this act and learn how to res and learn to respect your mother this instant, or else. Okay, I've had enough of this. Softy, silence, vermin. You can't decide things for him. She's right. What? I have to decide for myself. I decide to live the life I want to live. Exactly. You've always been such a pathetic excuse of a son. Three, two, one, oh dear. Uh, spotlight. so it's kind of hard to see. Oh well.
songs are so good. <laughs> ah! You selfish little brat! How dare would you say that to your son? <laughs> Just let him li I'm gonna make you regret ever think you had a choice in all this. Softy! Huh? Jump! Babe, I love you. <laughs> We're on top of a moving car! Are you crazy? <laughs> do you trust me? Aladdin. I do you trust me? Yes? And on the count of three, close your eyes and jump. One. Wait a minute. Two. Isn't there like a plan B or something we could try? Three. And they escaped. Great. All right. Just both parents at the same time, I guess? Eggnog, Hope, and Genesis. Despite being battered and bruised, Pico and boyfriend find solace in another one another's company. While healing a treacherous month flies by, which they spend tending to wounds, soon the boys feel well and brave enough to face the streets once again. Signs of the holiday season litter the scene, with snowflakes dancing in the air, golden bells ringing in, children laughing. A crowd of strangers whisper to one another in excitement waiting besides a sign that reads, Annual Holiday Fairest Meet and Greet. Oh no! Two boys enjoy the winter season with smiles distracted by one another's company. I can't believe you're actually making me wear this. What? You look adorable. I know. I can see it. Okay, that's a problem. Come on, Tuffy. This is our first time out in about a month. At least try to enjoy it. There they are. Oh no. Must be the parents. Language. Oh well. A crowd. Oh no. What day is it? The 17th, why? Our s Again. That's why. Just in time for the holidays. We were beginning to fear the worst. Oh dear, uh, how about we celebrate sport and finally get you home? Three, two, one, go! Now let's see if we can find this reference. Uh, I can see, um... Okay, Dev. Oh, there's a Gaudi. Cervante and Ruff. I see Garcelo. And that dude. Hey, wait a second. You're smoking inside of a mall. That is not loud. Put that out or something. You shouldn't even smoke anyways. What are you doing? done it. All right. You li- um, okay, wow. Wow, zero to 100 fast, eh? <laughs> you know, if you just did as you were told, you wouldn't need to wear that sweatshirt all the time. <laughs> you had nothing to hide. You could actually call yourself a man. Now be a good son and listen to your parents this instant. Don't call me your son. Grabbing attention. Okay, you tried to make me a mindless slave, just like girlfriend's parents did to her. Shut it. No. Parents are supposed to protect and care about their children. Yes, and accept them for who they are. You took away my dreams, my happiness, my trust in others, my childhood. For so long, I thought that was what love truly was. But in reality, you're never my parents. And never will be. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Pico, hit it! You got it, babe! Okay, well, let's... Oh, yeah, he's confident now! Oh, yeah, let's do this. Shh! 
show your boyfriend's side. Come on, you can do it. Actually, no, I'm pretty much the one playing it. I love this mod so much. Wow. I can't wait to see how angry they can get. They're starting to get sweaty. to make Christmas sound good. <laughs> okay. Well, for the third song, let me guess, the demon comes again and it starts to- I knew it. Eco! Oh no! And... Uh, it's back. You. Say something for once. Yeah. You know, I never really understood what you were, but I know very well who you are. Well, who you're supposed to be. Anyways, things are different now. You don't scare me anymore. They don't scare me anymore. I'm done letting you or anyone take control of my life. This ends now. Three, two, yeah, one, the confidence side, it's here. Oh no, he's crying. Well, that's not good. What's going to happen now? Genesis. Let's see how much of a banger this song will be. Oh dear, look at Pico's head. It's corrupted. Wow. Oh man, imagine, uh, like, imagine a corruption version, a corrupted version of this mod. Oh. Just like Friday Night Funkin' HD. But I just wonder how will this end up? The story is so interesting. I don't... Oh. Did you just scream? Did you just scream? That was cool! He's smiling. What does that mean? Is that a good thing? Oh, it's fading away. What's going on? Oh, he's fading away. Including the icon. That's so nice. That's so nice. 
We scared him away, guys. This is great. You okay, baby blue? Aw, well, that's nice. That's really nice. It's over. It's finally over. It's a long way from being over, sweetheart. But I think I get what you mean. Where do they... I don't even want to know. Um. Anyways. How about we grab some hot chocolate and find a place to rest for the night? Sounds like a plan. Well, that was nice. Oh, wait, what is that? He's facing the original boy- Alternative Nightmare? Hmm, okay, well that sounds interesting. After an emotional encounter with a fairest couple, Kiko and boyfriend seek shelter for the upcoming day. Wait a second. Thankfully they're- Why does this look familiar? Thankfully they're able to find such a comfort and relax in the company of each other. Away feels as though it has been lifted from their shoulders, and for once they feel the slightest bit at ease. Later that fateful night, boyfriend decides to rest his head. Only this time with the confines of his dream. He meets an oddly familiar face. Huh? Where am I? I knew it. Beep! Huh? Who... You're... Where... What do you want? Skadoo Bep. A sing-off? You can understand him, because obviously, it's the same person. I mean, I guess. Well then, what a plot twist! I did not expect this at all. Diplopia? We're battling ourselves. He's literally... Well then, ah... Uh... What a... What? Actually, it's calm. Well, that's something I never expected from a mod at all. What? Okay. Beep bop. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Really good at this. Is, is this what you do for a living? Boyfriend noises. Hmm. I see. And let me guess, you two are together? Mm-hmm. Bep. Right. Yeah. You look so happy. Good for you. Three, In fighting. Two, one, go. Let's see this one.
I don't care if I get anything wrong. I just, I'm just gonna. Never expected them to meet each other. I, not at all. Not at all. At all. Hmm. This is quite interesting. Skip up. All right, I get it. You're a singer. You get the girl. Everything in your life is just so easy, and you're exactly who I should have turned out to be. I get it. I get it. I get it. So why are you tormenting me like that? Like what? Happy do. Well, that's what you should be saying because it's true. So why are you not saying it? Why don't you throw it in my face that you are the perfect version of me? Beth? Just do it already. Three, two, okay, what is go go. Okay, what's going on right now? I, I don't know. What? Ooh, okay. for a little bit. I'm so close. I can understand what he's trying to say. gonna happen. I don't get it. I just don't know why. I wish you'd just tell me all the horrible things I don't want to hear. I've been told my whole life that I should end up as someone like you. Now that I have a good look at you, the absolute embodiment of everything I fail to be. You're not even who I want to be. You're not even me, are you? Voodoo poop. Yeah, sorry about all that. Guess I'm still getting over some things. You actually seem really cool. A girlfriend, too. Maybe... We could even be friends? I understand if it's off the table after all that. Skadoopy dooby doo. Did you say... What? I really like that. Is something supposed to Oh! 
Boyfriend is awoken by Pico shaking him gently, appearing ra rather concerned. Boyfriend. Boyfriend, wake up already. I know. Well, you aren't a heavy sleeper. Oh, eh? Pico, where is... Are you alright? You were tossing and turning. You looked and sounded upset. I... Oh. It was all a dream. They weren't actually... What were you even dreaming about? I don't even know where to start. It felt so real. Fair enough. Well, try to head back to bed, alright? We have that double date with girlfriend and her new boyfriend tomorrow- Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I'm glad she finally moved on- Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. Hopefully he treats her right. He deserves it. Now that I think about it, what was his name again? Sen- Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it! We might be getting a little ahead of ourselves. Can we get a light in here, please? That's bad. Hui, who's that? Him. Hi. I'm Tama, the director of, well, the mod you were playing right now. Oh, hello there. I just wanted to pop in and thank you for playing on the be behalf of the soft team. We worked really hard on this, and for most of us, this is the first mod we've ever worked on. Well, good job on this. It's so good. Feel free to check out the credits to find who did what. We really hope you had fun and that you'll stick around for future updates. We have so many things planned like new weeks, characters, remixes, and so on. Feel free to check out the soft mod Friday Night Funkin' Twitter account for updates, leaks, and overall good time. I guess that's all for now. Take care. Wow. What an incredible mod. Anyways, guys, that was Friday Night Funkin' the soft mod. Well, that was pretty soft. That was really bad, never mind. This mod was really good! This was the first time you've ever made this? Well, good job on everyone who made all of this! Wow, I am, I gotta say, I am impressed to say the least. Story, I am so interested to see what else is there, so I can't wait to see. Uh, what? I, I already said that twice, didn't I? I guess. All right, well, I'll end this video right here. You guys should go play for yourself. Has it been an hour already? I don't know. As always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like if you liked it. Make sure my other videos and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification to never miss a video ever again. Peace out!